check it. Whether it's your first time or you need a retreat, this is your place for video games and fresh beats. LB and me, LB and me, last benevolence of Kimmy and me. A few months ago, I had a conversation with a family friend where we compared the common issues we experienced with our weekend gaming sessions. With each of our groups, we both had the same exact problem, finding a good go-to game for us to play with our friends. The ways we each dealt with those problems, however, were entirely different. See, his group would settle on playing these garbage free-to-play titles that just happened to be available. Even though they didn't like the games they were playing, they'd play them anyway because, well, they were free and featured crossplay, so any of their friends could just hop on Discord and join in without worrying about whether their consoles matched or whether or not they even had a console in some cases. See, I'd like to say that my group had just a bit more integrity than his in that we wouldn't just settle on playing crappy games, but instead we'd sit on our Discord voice chat debating and listing off potential titles to play, trying to figure out intellectually what would eventually stick. But there always seems to be something missing with every title we think of. Maybe this game just isn't for everyone. Maybe that game doesn't allow for enough freedom and playstyles when partying. Maybe this other game is too hard. Maybe that other game just doesn't have enough content. Or maybe that one game makes you grind for countless hours for that one character that you want to play but instead gives you Mona twice when you really want Diluc. Okay, that one might be a little more personal. Anyway. The most common problem we found with most of these games is the lack of crossplay. Enter Minecraft Dungeons, developed by Mojang Studios and published by Xbox Game Studios for pretty much everything current gen except mobile, mostly. Back in the day, when Minecraft's popularity was just blooming, I gave it a try and soon after figured it was just not for me. Nothing against Minecraft or anything, it's just not my thing. I like to think of Minecraft as an experience or an interesting hobby in itself, rather than an actual game because being someone who's been gaming since the 16-bit era, I feel that games should have some sort of fixed objective or set purpose. Sometimes that objective can be different depending on how you play, but Minecraft is just so open-ended that you almost have to create the game and the objectives along with it. And to once again clarify, this is not a negative view at all. Minecraft is cool, but to me, it's just more like digital Legos more so than a video game. So I'm just as surprised as anyone else that one of the best games that we've played this year was a Minecraft spinoff. See, Minecraft Dungeons is quite different from the original. No building mechanics here at all. There isn't even digging in this game. It looks like Minecraft on the surface, but it's really a top-down action RPG that plays more like Torchlight or Titan Quest. It's simple and it does the job. Plus, it has cross-play between everything that it's on so anyone can join from their platform of choice, as long as they have a copy of the game. You can even share your character progress between platforms. I personally prefer playing on the Switch and handheld, but rather than playing docked, I like playing on PC because the graphics and performance is better, so I usually move my character from the Switch version over to the PC version whenever I'm docking my Switch. My favorite thing about Minecraft Dungeons is that it's simple mechanic-wise, but very diverse when it comes to its character building options, so it allows for a decent number of playstyles. It focuses on doing the job shaving off the stuff that can be frustrating or just plain unnecessary. It also balances the difficulty so well that even if players are at completely different levels, they can still enjoy the game as if they were all matched up together at the same level. Again, it simply does the job and it does it well. Games like the normal Minecraft are a little complicated for me. It may sound weird, but when I first started gaming, the first game DJ introduced to me was a really nice one and it's called Terra Online back in 2014. 
I got so used to its third person gameplay that I thought most games would be like that. But I later tried other games and found that I was wrong. I mean, not all games with different perspective are bad, but I can't stand first person games like Minecraft. They really make me feel dizzy. But recently, we heard from a friend of ours about Minecraft Dungeons. And honestly, at first, for me, the idea of trying it out was like... But my husband got it first and I just watched him play it for a while. It looked fun and so I tried it and then he got me a physical copy because he loves playing with me. Oh man, I'm telling you. I don't know what happened after that. I stopped playing other games I normally play like Animal Crossing because I've been having such a good time playing Minecraft Dungeons. It's very cute and it doesn't make me feel dizzy. Instead, playing it makes me feel like this. The tower challenge is fun. The story is just cute and the concept of going to battle for you to level up yourself and rebuild your own village is really cool. It's more fun while playing online with my husband and our friends. And it's nice that we finally have a multiplayer RPG where we can trade items. In Minecraft Dungeons, I feel like I am really doing something satisfying that changes its game world in a meaningful way. So in short, this game is cute and we recommend it. My sound quality but quickly dragging my footsteps through multiple environments Protecting villages on dangerous assignments This journey began in the creeper forest Rescuing a caravan from some wicked forces Not the sort of tale that causes one to start snoring Because little did I know that this was only just unfolding Like lotty lotty, we came with the party Too hot to stop dropping them in the bodies Never ever needing to speak softly but oft we clean up any dungeon even if it is foggy it's the dream team on that ancient hunt breaking up evil and looting without that gangster stuff listen this game is rough if you ain't ready enough but if you step into the dungeon then discover what's up we were blasting and freezing loud bosses wheezing creepers with no reason explode into pieces moments we were seizing for heroic deeds and uh -huh. best part believe this uh -huh. content the season feeling like you need a hunt then step into the dungeon adventures Loot a must then Step into the dungeon If you're really wondering how we all can have some fun Then we can party up and Step into the dungeon Lots of quests to do when we step into the dungeon To secrets we find clues as we step into the dungeon Itching to run through an adventure simple and fun Then uh -huh. you can join the crew uh -huh. and we'll step into the dungeon Feeling like you need a hunt then Step into the dungeon Adventures loot a must then Step into the dungeon If you're really wondering how we all can have some fun then we can party up and step into the dungeon Lots of quests to do when we step into the dungeon To secrets we find clues as we step into the dungeon Itching to run through an adventure simple and fun Then you can join the crew and we'll step into the dungeon <laughs> But if you like the review or the rhymes or the vibes, like, hit the bell, tell a friend, and subscribe. We haven't monetized any of our videos. Support our channel, games, music below. Links to those in the description, right above the lyrics that I'm saying. Can't forget to shout out the supporters that are favorites. Ben Romer, Phil Giannakis, Demarque Davis, Design OTG, and Proto Buster Sword, our patrons.